Hey guys, um, I, my name is Devon. Um, I'm making this channel because I'm going to be talking about Graves' disease and thyroid disease. Uh, as you guys can see, my eyes are protruding, so I do have a little issue with my thyroid. Um, the reason I decided to do this is because I tried to find um, some YouTube channels and support groups for people that are suffering from Graves' disease and or protruding eyes, and it's really hard to find, and I was kind of surprised because um, I didn't think it was going to be that hard for me to find stuff like that, but... Um, Maybe there's just a lot of people out there that are going through it that are nervous about talking about it. Um, I know it can be really uncomfortable, but um, I this is my first time making a YouTube channel, so bear with me. I'm going to try to figure this thing out. Um, my eyes were not always like this. They started protruding maybe... Uh, about seven years ago and it happened slowly. I honestly I didn't realize it until people started pointing it out to me um, You know when you look at yourself every day, you don't really notice a difference But people would start staring and you know and you know little kids would make comments and you know I mean kids are honest and you know, they would say things like oh her eyes are too big or she looks scary or she looks funny and um, it it makes it's really uncomfortable i mean i've i've noticed that even now when i even though i've had them for years it, it's it's really really uncomfortable you know i can do something as simple as walk into the grocery store or into a gas station and i just out of habit immediately look down or put my head down because i don't want people to to notice my eyes right away um i've even had my nephew uh, you know, make a comment. And he, I mean, he was just being honest. He He's eight years old. And he would say, you know, why are your eyes so big? And not out of, you know, malice or anything. He just really wanted to know. And, you know, it, things like that, it, did, it, it makes it really uncomfortable. Um, my driver's license picture, my eyes are like this. I mean, I can't help it. And, you know, I, a couple weeks ago, I got a speeding ticket. Ugh. And um, I gave the cop my driver's license and he said, oh, that's an interesting picture. Like, way to be an ass. You know, I, I, I really think people don't realize um, how hurtful it actually is. Uh, but anyways, it is what it is. We deal with what we're dealt. Um, I started going to the ophthalmologist about a year ago. I wish I would have gone earlier, but there were, you know, insurance, money issues. But I went about a year ago, and they have been monitoring my eyes and how much they're protruding. They needed to make sure that they're gonna that they've been stable for a year. So I am finally getting orbital decompression surgery. It is scheduled for next Thursday, March the twelfth. Um, they will be doing one eye at a time. So they're gonna start with my right eye. And then three weeks later, they will do my left eye. And my doctor told me that they do it one eye at a time because that is the best way for them to make sure that the eyes are symmetrical. Um, you know, they'll do the right eye, let it heal up because, you know, it's going to be swollen and bruised for a while. Let it heal up and then match the left eye to it. Um, so, you know, that makes sense. That it, I'm going to be kind of lopsided for three weeks, but, you know, that's okay. Um... So I'm excited about that. I'm a little nervous um, just because even though I, I, I do want to get it done, I'm a little nervous because I don't want to not look like myself, if that makes any sense. But um, I am in nursing school. I will be graduating in June, so I will be a registered nurse. And I don't want to walk into a patient's room that I'm taking care for and have my eyes be the first thing that they notice about me um and it's weird you know my eyes are, it, it's the kind of thing where it's like either you love it and or you hate it I've had people random people come up to me and say oh your eyes are so beautiful um but I've had more people stare and, and you know make comments negative comments about it but anyways um so I am going to try to keep you guys updated. I, again, I've never done a YouTube channel before 
ever. I was kind of scared to do it, but just seeing how there's such a lack of of channels like this, I decided to do it because, you know, maybe there's someone else out there that is going through this and, you know, has a question or anything like that. But so like I said, my surgery is for um, Thursday, next Thursday, March the 12th, 2015. I will try to make a video um, if I'm not too drugged out. Um, I'll try to make a video the day after so that you guys can see what it one eye looks like um you know each day after as it's healing and just my my progress with that um if you guys have any questions or anything just leave them below i'll try to answer them anything else you want me to talk about um but just let me know if you guys have any questions thanks